In the previous module, we talked about IES, Interactional Sociolinguistics, that helps us to know what? To know how gender identity is constructed, created. And now we properly define what gender identity is. In this module, you will know this. What is identity? First of all, identity alone. The word identity has Latin root. In Latin, it comes from idem. And idem means personal sameness and continuity. A person remains the same throughout the life. It continues, the sameness continues over the period of time, over our lifespan. This constant, this constant sameness of our person, of our self, this is known as identity. It means there exists a real me. If something exists, if something remains the same, so it means it is real. So when we talk about identity of our self, so it means we are referring to some real me. I stands for self. So from there, the term real me is being used. So what is identity? Identity is real me. Why is it real? Because it remains constant. It exists over a period of time. But sociology says that identity, that is who am I, is not given. What we were talking about, it was literal meaning, lafzi tarjama tha identity ka. Now, terminologically, that we often say istalahi tor pe. Sociologists say that identity doesn't remain the same, it doesn't remain constant. It is invented that we have been calling created, constructed. It is discussed because we construct it in talk in interaction. So, we discuss it, we negotiate it with each other. We construct it with collaboration with others. So, it does not remain the same. It is changeable. It is transformed by our interactions in different contexts during our lifespan. The construction takes place at micro level in a particular context. That context may be workplace, where we work. The features of our talk are indexical of our self. Now, what is the relationship of our identity with our talk? Talk signals our identity. From our talk, features of our talk, the words we are using, the style of our speech, the style of our talking, it signals, it gives cues about our identity. The signs which index our point to something are called indexical. Our talk functions as indexical and what is meant by indexical? This is from index and you might have heard the term index finger. It is that finger that we use for shahadat, for pointing to something. So, pointing is called 
इंडेक्सिकलिटी राइट तो दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इंडेक्सिकल तो आर टाक इज इंडेक्सिकल मीन्स आर टाक पॉइंट्स टू पॉइंट्स टू वट आर सेल्फ आर आइडेंटिटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस टर्म फर्स्ट रोड साइड साइन पोर्ट्स इन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑन द रोड ऑन मेन रोड्स यू हैव साइन पोर्ट्स एंड दी साइन पोर्ट्स सिग्नल the locations within the premises of the university are alongside the road so they are in fact indexicals and they index they point to real things which really exist likewise feature of our talk index are gender if now we confine ourselves confine our discussion to gender not general identity so our talk features would tell whether a man is talking or a woman is talking it will show masculinity or femininity it will tell others what is our profession it will tell others what is our relations and roles right if a person who for example contributes less to public talk and uh, that person is person oriented takes care of other very loving and caring takes care of others feelings emotions doesn't want to hurt others if a person is conciliatory doesn't like to confront others in talk doesn't like to shout at others so these features would index would point to the fact that some woman is talking this is how the features of talk become indexical of our gender identity similarly if a person dominates talk and wants to be dominated and wants that others should listen to him is authoritative argumentative likes confrontation or and doesn't tolerate disagreement so these features of talk would be indexical of a man that a man is talking So this is how our features of talk, our discourse, we say, becomes indexical of our gender identity. We have already talked about intonation and gender in previous modules. We have said intonation choices are determined by sex because our physiology, our voice boxes are different. So one difference is. created by our physiology and the other difference is created by our culture that women should adopt a different intonation a different pitch of voice should be used by women so this is cultural requirement and this relationship between intonation and gender has been discussed but what is different in is is that is would say that the intonation features are indexicals they would point to our gender identity so here the role of intonation is changed it becomes indexical so the central point in is is that our language features including intonation serve as indexicals this is the central point there are two main perceptions of identity language features are symbols of our identity when we say symbols it means the relationship between features of our talk and identity are maintained by culture by convention 
and for this conventional relationship the term symbol would be used and this idea has come from Saussure and you know Saussure is regarded as father of modern linguistics okay second opinion is that language features are indexes of our identity and there is difference between the term symbol as and index symbol shows that the relationship between symbol and the thing for which it stands is conventional for example the whole community says that if there is a bundle of papers papers are printed they are hard bound are paper bound they uh, there is a spine and a title and color and design on cover paper title page etc the whole community decides that it would be called a book so this relationship between the book and the word we are using for it this is conventional community has related them right now when we use the term index index is direct relationship of the sign and the thing which is being represented by that sign so this idea has come from peers philosopher peers has given this idea of indexicality that we are repeatedly using in is is follows this second perception of identity these are the two persons who have presented these two different ideas of relationship between words signs and our identity we conclude all social categories class social class upper middle lower our race black white yellow etc ethnicity punjabi baluchi sindhi all social categories are constructions and which constructs them language gender is also a linguistic construction and gender is independent of biological sex when we use it in this sense